Hey guys, this is Calabasa, the DBZ Otaku, and um, yeah, I so far am thanking those who saw my message about what I went through last night. Um, I'm going to need some recovery time, but it's not going to stop me from uploading. Um, I hope you guys are looking forward to 2020. I hope things are better. Um, and, um, yeah, the good news is, um, I'm going to sack anime on day zero. I think we're, I'm leaving on the third, which is going to be super exciting. Uh, I s <clears throat> can see you guys can see Haunter right over my head here. Say hi, Haunter. <laughs> Yeah, I just, like, hung him up there, but it, because of the way he's made, it looks like he has just little nubby feet. I mean, that's not the only plushie I got hanging on my ceiling. Is... I got, like, uh, let me... It might be a little messy because I just cleaned my room. But let's see. Wow. Boyful doesn't like the camera. <laughs> Yep, there he is. And there's my Litwick. Ignore the scouter, please. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I just did because I was bored. And then. Eh. Okay. Dumb drink piss off. Um, and all the lovely. It, that needs to piss off. Ignore that. Let's see, I got all this. My collection of shit. I might as well just give you a brief tour of my itty bitty room. I still have yet to see that series, so. Bleh. I pretty much got this because I liked our design. And we got this smug jackass over here. And any fan would know about this game back from the day. Like I said, I just cleaned, so I just got some cleaning products everywhere. Just ignore that. <laughs> and we got good old Lily here. My little espion hiding behind her. Casa in a cup, Naruto. And of course. Of course, this is my most valuable thing, which is, let's see, I think she's a 1960s Barbie. I'm not a big fan of Barbies, but I'm keeping that anyway. <laughs> I forgot to get rid of that one. Oh, well. <laughs> and, of course, my huge Dragon Ball collection. And this is what oh my god, I got so much on my wall, but yeah, this is what I got on my wall, as you can see. And then, um, as I'm being assaulted by the vacuum, I'm trying to show you that up there is um, a autographed picture of Vegeta from uh, Christopher Sabat. Yep. It was really fun meeting him, so I kind of got a little heartbroken when I heard about all the stuff that happened with uh, Vic, Vic Mignona. Sorry if I can't say his name right, but yeah, it, it was still fun talking to him. Um, yeah, why, why it says um, not a brony on the picture. I know I'm getting way off topic, but whatever. Um, the reason why is that's not a brony <laughs> because he and I had this funny, this funny talk about, uh, Vegeta being a secret brony. And the funny thing about it was he asked me, um, what pony he'd be interested in. So he asked me what pony he would like and I said, my friends and I were talking and we said he'd most likely be a fan of Rainbow Dash, right? It, it turns out that <laughs> we were 
were wrong about what Phantom, <laughs> what, what Pony, um, Vegeta would be into. The funny thing is, it, um, it turns out that Savage said that he'd be into Princess Luna. And I think that makes too much sense. So I'm like, wow. It, I mean, it was a very funny conversation. And then I said, oh, so he is a brony. But if somebody pointed that out that he is a brony, he'd be in denial, right? And he pretty much told me I hit the nail on the head there. So that's why he wrote, not a brony. I mean, literally, he took up two pages of my autograph book saying I am not a brony, which was hilarious. So, I have to say, it, it was fun meeting him, despite the, you know, complications. But, yeah, um, as I said before in the beginning, I'm, I'm going to need some time to recover. And, um, I think Mr. Deek, Super Dimitri 1991, and, of course, the Black Ponderer. Um, I hope I can, like, connect with you guys on Facebook. So, you know, we can chat it up. I know Super Dimitri, 1991, and I are already on Facebook. But as for the other two, I hope we can, like, chat more on Facebook and stuff. I'm, I'm always on Facebook. Um, but, um, yeah. If it's just hard when you don't know if you're being annoying to somebody. And then they just don't tell you until, like, months and months. If not, like weeks or years later they just give you the cold shoulder and then you know they just w want to hear it like um they just want to hear about it at a good perfect timing which was last night and well i was just saying enough is enough because i don't need somebody that's going to give me the cold shoulder and then tell me, oh, wait, after New Year's. And I'm going to be a sack. So I'm like, yeah, no. So, um, yeah, that's what happened. And um, I know I made some mistakes, but I don't think I made all of the mistakes. But I just I just don't need that kind of toxic thing in my life. Anyways, um... <sighs> Of disaster. Dun dun dun. Why do you ask when I say the sigh of disaster? Dun dun dun. Hey, be still. I, I, stop it. Be the troll. Ugh, my brain is not fully there, but, anyways. I'm gonna be doing slime videos after the convention. I can't believe I'm doing this. Like, really? Really? Thanks a lot, DIY slimes. Now you got me, you want to do this. <sighs> this is what happens when you get bored and you got nothing else to do. And you get so bored, you just want to try something new, I guess. And this, this, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I, I went out um, shopping with my roommate because I owed her a drink and then she was looking at me funny when I went through Walgreens seeing these on sale and I ended up buying them and she's like what the fuck is this for and I'm like uh yeah how am I supposed to explain that to my roommate <laughs> She's like with me every day. And you know, she, she's seen me do this. And I just can't explain why. And she's looking at me right now like, are you for real? You're gonna do a DIY slime video. And she's like, Bitch, are you serious? Oh my god, I love her to death though, but like seriously, this is kind of without doubt the most like 
thing I've ever done that actually makes me even more nervous than I was trying to make random videos for YouTube, so... Yeah! I don't know what I'm gonna be in for, but just look forward to it, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, um... I, to conclude everything, I'm going to get better. I'm going to get some therapy done so I can, you know, change for the better. And, um, I'm going to figure out ways to get rid of all the access energy so I'm not, like, all over the place. And I think that would make, um, some better videos. So, yes, look forward to it. Look forward to it. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that I'm cutting all ties and getting rid of the negative energy because there are things I'm looking forward to. I'm, I'm anxious. Like the good, in, the anxiety I'm having right now, which is not bad, is I'm going to have a baby sister in a couple of weeks and I'm really looking forward to meeting her. So, um, I think the new year is going to be a good one. And, um, I know this past year has been a hassle not only for me but for everyone else and I just hope that we can all look forward to a new year and hope that not only our old wounds from this year can heal and our roots to regrow but also for everything in general I just I just hope things will be better and um yeah just just look forward to hopefully a good future all right I gotta head off to work so um this is Calabasa the DBZ Otaku, and I will see you guys later. And thanks again, Mr. Deke, the Black Ponderer, and Super Dimitri for your emotional support. It means a lot to me. And I just wanted to let you guys know it was not a suicide note. It was just a message because I don't want anybody else to, to have this issue. So thank you a lot for your support. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys later.